Today we will be installing Wave to Lip, which will let us make pictures and videos talk the words we want. This is the GitHub repository we will be using. Here are all the steps for the install. I will include this in the description. This step is not really needed, but it may be for future projects. We will enable long path with a registry edit. Copy this registry edit from the Microsoft site and save it as a .reg file. Then just double click that reg file to update the registry. This file sets the long path enabled flag to true. Next we will install Visual Studio. This has some libraries we will be needing and we may use this in the future for Python development. You can get Visual Studio from the Microsoft Visual Studio website. Click download and select Community 2022. I already have it installed, but once the installer runs, you will be at this screen. Here you will want to check Mark Python development, desktop development with C++, and universal Windows platform development. And on the right side, make sure to check mark this option for C++ V143 Universal Windows Platform Tools. Then click on Install, which should be where this close button is for me. After that, I would also recommend restarting your computer. Once that is done, we can start by changing directory to where we want to install Wave 2 Lip. I will copy that path to an Anaconda prompt. Next, we will create a conda environment initialized with Python 3.6. Enter Y at the prompt to confirm. Next, we will activate the environment we just created. Then we will clone the repository to download it to our local machine. And then go into the new folder that was created. Here we will want to delete the OpenCV entries from the requirements text file. As I was not able to install that on Windows without errors, we will instead be installing that using the Conda packages. So go to the folder and open the requirements TXT file and delete the two lines for OpenCV. Save and close. Next, we will install OpenCV from Conda. This will take a while. I decided to take a nap while this installed. Enter Y at the prompt to confirm. Once that is finally finished, we will install the rest of the requirements from that TXT file. Finally, we will install FFmpeg. Now the install is complete. Let's go back to the GitHub page and get the remaining files we need. Click on this link to get the pre-trained model. Then on these two links to get the weights. I already have those three files downloaded. Let's go ahead and move them to the appropriate folders. The S3FD file will go in the Face Detection Detection SFD folder. The other two files will go in the Checkpoints folder. We will then create a folder to store the input files. In this folder, we will drop the input video and audio files. For this example, the input picture and audio file. I will just copy and paste the files I will be using. And now we just run wave to lip. Let's go back to the GitHub page and see the usage command. I will copy this to a notepad and modify the values. For the checkpoint path, we will specify the path to the checkpoint PTH file, which is in the folder called Checkpoints.
For the face, we will specify a video or image. For our example, it is an image in the input folder. For the audio, it is the audio file to use for the lip sync. This can be an MP3 or WAV or any other supported formats mentioned in the GitHub page. Now we can run the command. I will copy-paste it to the Conda prompt. Oops, it looks like I forgot to specify the folder name for the audio file. Let's update the audio file path and then retry. Once that is done, we can see the final result in the results folder. Today we will be installing Wave to Lip, which will let us make pictures and videos talk the words we want. If you have an NVIDIA graphics card, you might be able to use CUDA so that it uses your GPU instead of CPU to speed it up. First go to the Conda prompt and activate the Conda environment for Wave 2 Lip. Now we can use Python to check if CUDA is currently available for Wave 2 Lip to use. Type Python and hit enter to be able to start writing Python. First import torch. Now we will call a method called torch.cuda. Dot is underscore available. For me this says true because I installed CUDA. If it says false for you and you have an NVIDIA GPU, you can install CUDA. Go to the NVIDIA page here at Developer NVIDIA CUDA Downloads. Select Windows, Architecture, and your Windows version, and Local. And now you can click Download and then install that once it is downloaded. After doing that, we will need to install the package for Wave to Lip. Let's go back to the prompt. Enter quit parentheses to exit out of Python mode. Now first we want to uninstall the existing PyTorch by typing pip uninstall torch and hit enter. I have already done it so I won't actually do it here. Once it is uninstalled, we will then install it by going to the PyTorch site. Go to pytorch.org. Click get started. Click the start locally tab if not already selected. Scroll down and make the selections. I selected stable Windows Conda Python CUDA 11.8. Now just copy-paste this command to the prompt and hit enter to install it. I already have it installed, so I won't actually do it here. Once you do that, you can try calling that torch.cuda.is underscore available method again, like we did at the beginning, and now it should say true. And that is all that is needed to be able to use your GPU for Wave 2 lip.